Good morning, church. We are now a week away from the fall fling. We are still in need of volunteers for the games, and of course, we can always use more candy. If you are volunteering, plan to be here no later than 340. If you're doing trunk or treat, meet in the south parking lot for instructions on where to park. If you're helping with the games, meet in the upstairs of the bunker. We will have a table set up at the west entrance where any lost items will be taken if found. We will also have a parking team located in the west parking lot to help guide people on where to park. I am so excited for next Sunday and appreciate everyone who has signed up to volunteer or donated candy. Don't forget, volunteers meet at the church at 340 and we will see the rest of you at 4 o'clock. God took me on a three-year journey to show me all the places He wanted to set me free. And there was no condemnation attached to it. He basically wooed me back to His heart. He rescued me from a pit. He gave me a calling and a passion and a purpose. And then He listened to my confession saying, I'm, I'm a mess, I'm not enough, you probably got this wrong. And then he, he held me off and He let me rest with Him and He let me grieve things that were buried and then gave me courage again and joy and a freedom. And I think we sit in a moment right now where God wants to set so many women free. And for each of us, bondage looks different. And there might be something that you've just dealt with and you've kind of lived in a crippled way. And this study will be a way to process that with people who know and love you well and start to walk with you arm in arm in a new way and of freedom. And as you become free, you'll be free to set others free.